Right, so um, you've done your sewing of your signatures. You've got them all perfectly aligned. It's nice and tight, um, but we want to go that wee bit extra to make it even more secure. We've got our ribbon in there and all. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue the spine so it seeps in. But you don't want it seeping down, you know, down into the, the signature. You want it just to seep in the first sort of wee millimetre in. And... Um, that will help secure your spine of the book. So what I use is good old cheap PVA glue and um, this is from B&Q, uh, I think it's a UK based company, I don't think you have that in America but it's just a hardware store. So this is the decorator's PVA glue, this was a one litre bottle, cheap as chips and um, I use it. Um, I tend to, whenever I'm book buying, I tend to go for a, a three to one mix so what I do is I put in three times PVA glue to one part water uh, but for the spine itself what I'm actually going to do today is I'm just going to use the the PVA glue itself um, because I want it sort of to be thicker this is quite thin PVA glue compared to some of the other ones like um, is it Anita's tacky glue it's a wee bit thicker than this so I won't water this one down for this for the actual spine of the book itself so what we do is, I'll show you what you'll need, you just need some bits of scrap paper and I use these, they're sort of like large bulldog clips but if you have ordinary bulldog clips that are going to be big enough just use those because you know you need to, to hold your spine in tight like that whenever it's being glued. Um, so you can use these certainly if you, as long as obviously you're, it's going to fit over your spine. If you've got a larger book you're going to need something like these or like these. This is um, my daddy gave me these. So if I'm doing bigger books, sorry about the squeaking, I, I use that. So um, they hold the, the book spine pretty firmly if it's a large book. So as we're doing a small book we don't need the big hardware. Um, I've only got two of these so I think I'll, I'll use these today because I need it at three places to be held. And you need something like a brush or a foam, a foam brush or an ordinary old paint brush. And you also need to cut a couple of pieces of paper that are going to go down the back of your spine. that are going to be glued onto it but I'll do that in a wee second. I'm going to glue my ribbon down to my paper here. And I'm sort of looking at that and I'm thinking I'm not going to need sort of an inch and a half length so I might just cut that down a wee tad. And just cut it down to about there. So that's about two centimetres or just over half an inch. And again I'm going to have to use the lighter again because I've obviously cut that. Oh, right. God, can't even use a lighter. <laughs> Don't smoke, so cut the other side and just use your lighter along the edges there. Now, give your. That's not out properly. Yeah. Um, just move it up a wee tad. There we go. Happy days. Right, so give your. Uh, Book a good tap, make sure your pages are all lined up together. And you need to put your finger and thumb at each side of the ribbon and give it a good squeeze down to make sure that your ribbon is straight, that there's no wee puckered bits because if you pucker it obviously that's going to leave more space between the signatures to move. So you want to make sure that your ribbon's really tight. And then I'm just going to take my glue. Gonna add some underneath. Use an old paintbrush just to dab some of the glue down. Put some on the underside of the ribbon. And glue that down and just pat it down with your paintbrush. Now you don't want to put so much glue 
on your ribbon and your paper that you're going to absolutely saturate the paper itself. Because I'm using 80 GSM paper, it's just ordinary printer paper, if you put too much glue on it'll soak it and the page will go ripply and it could even tear. So just be aware of whenever you're gluing your paper that you don't put too much glue on it that it'll actually tear through the page. So the glue's done on that side. Turn it over. Just give it a wee pull. Squash down your signatures. Oh. There we are. So squash it, squash it down. Give it a wee pull and add your glue to the page and a wee touch on your ribbon. You need a wee touch on your ribbon too because um, it actually absorbs the glue quite well so you want enough on the ribbon that it's going to stick. And just add the glue there, get it close up to the edge of your signatures to the binding, or sorry to the spine and tap that down. I always like to keep a, an old cloth or um, kitchen roll handy just to wipe off any excess. I use the back of my um, paintbrush just to squash it down a wee bit and make sure it's well glued down. There we go. Now I've got a wee bit of glue and there and it's just got a wee bit dirty just with the edge of the of the ribbon being glued. Don't panic if this page gets a bit dirty because, as I said, it's going to get covered with cardstock. You're not going to see it. I mean, you could scribble your name there if you wanted and you're still not going to see it unless your paper is so thin that it will be seen through the other side. But don't don't panic if this gets a bit grubby. So there we go. We've got the ribbon glued. That side and that side. So now we have to add glue down the spine and I think I'll carry on using the paintbrush because it's quite handy it can get into the, the wee crevices and things so take oh, just, move that to the way. just take everything off your desk if you're not using um, you find if your desk is a bit covered you tend to make mistakes then because you don't have the room that you need take the glue and put a liberal amount now you'll probably look at this and think, oh my godly, you put way too much glue on. You do need quite a lot of glue because the paper does absorb the glue very well. Put it over your thread as well, put your ribbon in the middle. So you'll see I have quite a bit of glue there. Try not to let it fall down the edges or anything. See all that? quite a lot of glue. Take your paintbrush, sort of hold, not too tight because you want to get a wee bit of glue down into each of the signatures so at this stage we're not holding it too tight. Uh, do your best not to get it down the side here, if you do just mop it up a wee bit. sure you don't let the glue spill over the top because if you get too much glue on the top here that's going to stick your pages together rather than just keeping it tight. It means whenever you go to open your page you'll not be able to open them because it'll be stuck together. So we'll just set that there for a second and just make sure that I've wiped off any dribbles that side and flip it over and mop up any wee dribbles that have gone over that side. Now you don't want to keep it sitting like this because the glue will run to one side. You'll find you want to hold it up like this. the way. I'm going to prop this up just against that can there. 